Hey everybody, JB here and welcome to my channel and welcome to my first ever figure review video. So a better way to start this review than check out one of my favorite Ninja Turtles, Raphael, from the upcoming TMNT Mutant Mayhem. Let's check him out. Taking a quick look at the packaging, we have this cool artwork of Raphael as well as the Mutant Mayhem and Nickelodeon logo uh, front. And in the back we have the rest of the characters from this wave as well as a origin bio and character bio on the back. I also like that we have this graffiti around both sides of the card, which I think is a very good touch. Uh, but that's a quick look at the packaging. So now I'm going to open this figure up and we're going to check this Raphael figure out. So here I have Raphael out of the packaging and this figure looks great. Uh, the detail of this figure looks very cool as you have this awesome pattern on the back of the shell and you have some of these scratches on the front, including this deep cut right over here. You also have him wearing his red knee pads, his red armbands, and also, of course, having the black belt with the yellow letter up front, including his side holsters up the front, which reminds me of the old Raphael figures from back in the 80s. But what I like about this is that you also have some color separation on this belt, as you have like this brown uh, pouch on this one side and the silver clip on the other. Uh, you also have him wearing his red bandana as a mask instead of the standard headband. And I also like his facial expression as it also reminds me of the old Raphael figure back in the 80s. Um, but this figure is not perfect though as it does have some paint coming out from his mouth right here. And also of course it has some bad nubs on the ankle uh, and also on the arms. So that's just a minor gripe but still this is a good looking figure. And now, onward to the weapons and accessories. So what's included in this Raphael figure are his signature two sides, which I love the color separation instead of it being one solid piece. Uh, it can fit in both the hands very well. And also the holsters on the front of the belt. Here we go. And here we are, and here we are. He also includes this tiny turtle version of Raphael before his mutation, and it's in a solid green color, and also a peg hole underneath for some reason. And of course, what Ninja Turtle figure would not be complete without the additional weapons rack? And on this rack, you have his Ninja Stars, his Kunai, these hook swords, this Mugen container, and this pizza slice, which honestly, I wish this pizza slice would be separate instead of being on this rack and in this gray silver color. So yeah, that's it for the accessories. So let's move on to articulation. So the articulation for this Raphael figure is pretty good as the, the head can move from side to side. It can go up, but Sally can't go down. Um, as for the arms, it can go in and out up and down, but it is kind of hindered by this holster right over here. It also has single jointed elbows, as well as an elbow swivel right here, and also a swivel on the wrist. As for the legs, it can go up and down, but you gotta turn around in order for it to go in and out. It also has single jointed knees, as well as some swivel on the knees and also a swivel on the ankle. So yeah, overall, pretty good articulation. So my final thoughts on this Mutant Mayhem Raphael is that this has been a fun figure. The articulation has been pretty good as I had a great time posing him and I love the color separation on the belt and the size and the head sculpt looks very good as it reminds me of the first Raphael figure back in the late 80s. But I do have some cons about this figure as I wish the articulation on the legs would be a bit better. The holsters do tend to get in the way of the arms and also there is some bad nubs on the ankle on the feet and on the elbows and on the elbows i also wish that the pizza was color separated and also didn't have that gray color but despite these problems this is still a great figure and i'm happy to have this Raphael in my collection so if you haven't picked up this figure yet i highly recommend getting it because it's definitely a lot of fun 
So thank you guys for watching my first ever figure review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more future content to come. And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.